Hello there, I'm Nigel Mill. Welcome back to another episode of Borderlands 3. Why am I an empire in the pause menu? That... That thing in front of me... Uh, I was <laughs> exploring ahead a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I got a challenge from Hammerlock to kill Manvark. Which is... Again, that thing. Let's go! Oh jeez! Oh my! Acid! Oh no 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 no! No you won't! A tank bark? It evolved? Okay. Good for you, I think. <laughs> so much power. Oh, whoa, Mark, Mark, more of you? How many times are you gonna evolve? Oh God! Oh no! Don't come near me! Don't get near me! No! Okay, that's the real one. Oh God! <laughs> Evolve into something else. Come on, I double dare you. Again, Mark Park? This is good. This is, okay, this is getting crazy. <laughs> How many times are you gonna evolve? Huh? This is not fair. Are you going up now? Bam! Dead. So oh! Man Mark's reign of terror is over. For now. <laughs> Ah, uh, there was really something itching. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Roadkill. That's for the vehicle. This, sure, why not? Again? Aren't there so many skins? Why are they giving me... Okay. That happens all the time. Dastardly Explosion. That was a little bit weird. <laughs> that, that that hunting was a little bit weird. Probably the weirdest. Probably the weirdest I've ever seen. Uh, this thing, roadkill, and I guess I'll sell this. I don't have any other person to trade that skin with. So, <laughs> I can only sell it, unfortunately. It would have been good if I had someone to trade things with. Oh god. But alas, nobody that I know plays this game on PC. So, I'm kinda alone here. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I cannot trade. For she is. Hey! No! How dare you? Slaughter shaft? Oh? The slaughter shaft? Am I. am I going there? I mean. The slaughter shaft. I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna see a little bit what this is holy broadcast mouthpiece again he's here again didn't i just kill them <laughs> okay what is this oh the slaughter shed. this is like a arena type of thing right uh, 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 Awesome. Let me see if I can't. This is the respawn area, just like Borderlands 2, where you could help the buddy that is still alive complete the quest for you. These these things you can shoot. <laughs> this, <laughs> or you can just hang around here. You know, 
disregard your friend's uh, struggles. Uh, this is a, this is like a a tink slaughterhouse. I think it was the name or the Moxie's Underdome, something like that. Ah, very cool. Just so you know, I'm probably yeah. This is a this is one of those. This is one of those quests. Hey, the slaughter shaft heading to the battle arena and take on wave after wave of the baddest asses the COV has to throw at you. I'm not gonna do this on this channel because this is the same quest and I keep repeating it and I keep repeating it and I keep repeating it to get more loot, more loot, more loot, more loot and have some more fun. So I'm not gonna do it but the, the long and the short of it is that quest has you killing waves of COV all around this place. If you succeed, you get an item. If you don't, well, you get to do it again and again and again and again and again and again until you succeed. But I'm gonna do that on my own time. For now, I'm gonna keep going to the main quest because I believe I completed every single side quest here for now. Right? I'm not crazy, right? No, I'm not crazy. Yet. I'm not crazy yet. Tannis, what do you have to say to me? Oh, jeez. Good God. You... Oh. Genevieve. You gotta warn me when you're gonna shoot, okay? <laughs> I am breathing. You gotta warn me. Gotcha. More Varkids. Gee, what's... This is a Varkid infested. Oh jeez. Why even try? Exactly. Why even? You're dead. There's something above me. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> Too bad for you. Uh oh, no. You won't do it. Oh, there's a typh. There's a typhoon log. Oh god, there's a typhoon log somewhere on top, you know, above me. You're nearly there! Yeah. Unlike everything and everyone on Pandora, it seems the elevator to my lab is irrevocably broken. <laughs> you will need to find another way underground. Nice joke. Nice joke, Tannis. <laughs> Man, she gets to be a main character now that she's a siren. I mean... When I first stepped into, uh, I mean, in Borderlands 2, yeah, she helped the Crimson Raiders, yeah, and yeah, she had side quests, but this time, she's a main, main character, like, for real Z's. What is this? Break floor? What is this? Eh, 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 eh. The lab entrance is in the large cavern. I'm not sure I can be more descriptive than that. It, it's a cavern, and it happens to be large. It's a large cavern, I get it. Oh god! No, I cannot. I cannot do that jump. But be forewarned, I will find a way. And when I find a way, I always find my way? Question mark? Okay. I'm gonna keep trying to get on top of that uh, thing over there. Uh, I'm gonna try. Oh god, I can't believe this worked. I can't believe that worked. Oh, jeez, I'm such a freaking badass. Such a freaking bad. I can't. <laughs> I didn't. I. Well, it worked. I was sweet on Leda, and she knew it. 
Together, we started looking for clues to the long-lost Iridian homeworld, Necrodefeo. It was her dream to find it, and pretty soon, it became my dream too. Okay. So you were in love with this person? That's that's what these logs are about. God, I think I think there was an easier way over here or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I did it. I still did it. Ah, uh, no. I don't know how you get around that normally, but I did it my way. That's the important part. Here I am. Oh man, so many lockers and loot. You're gonna give me more money and more ammo and more guns? I hope so. Oh god, white guns. Of course. I need a red chest. I need a red chest so badly. I can't stand all these white ones. Oh, this is busted. What's up? Slumming it in an abandoned mine. All right. Yeah. All right, I got gotcha. you. Well, just wanted to let you know that we're working on it. I've got a big surprise for you. Huge reveal. You're gonna love it. Troy, come on. We talked about this. <laughs> anyway, the great vault of beckons. Later, super fan. Uh, Tyrene, you should, uh, ditch your brother. Because, you know, by ditch, I mean... <laughs> because he interrupted you, and I know how you don't like to be interrupted. Eh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Less work for me, and more pleasure for you. And I'm gonna kill her anyways later, but... Come on. Live in the t live in the uh, live in the moment. You know, if we can't live in the moment, what are we? What's the meaning of life? You know, if we don't. Necron to fail. The first time I ever heard the name of the Iridian homeworld was from Leda's own lips. We were driving across the desert in my turd buggy when we came across some ruins. The bot scattered out, chirping and beeping. I keep an eye out for the racks while Leda starts digging in the sand. Then she looks up at the moon and says, Necro to Feo. As if she could already see it. Necro to Feo. <laughs> That's a funny name. It sounds like Cinco de Mayo. But in so, a different way. Typhon's quest for Necro to Feo started with Leda? I feel lied to by history books. And if I can't trust those. <gasps> mm, my paradigm is shifting. And I'm about to puke. Vault Hunter, go find your loot cache. <laughs> your what? Paradigm? Is that a thing? I mean, that's a scientific word for puking? Or a stomach? Hmm. I need I need to learn more scientific words for stuff and reasons. Eh, just so I can fool you know, so I just so I can confuse the people that I'm talking with. That would be fun. That will be a lot of fun. Instead of saying stomach, I said whatever the hell Tannis just said, I forgot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the heck was that noise? I did not like that at all. Bam! No, you won't. No, you won't. Affair that ended when our tracks went separate ways, as they say. Kate. So it goes. Kate. Now, caress the minecart. Just trust me on this one. Caress it. Oh, shut up, Kate. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Kate? What is Kate? An imaginary friend of yours? Oh. Uh. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. There you go. Feels so good. Feels so good. Weren't there more of you a second ago? Tuck. Snip, snap. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Bullseye. Bullseye. 
Man, Amara's melee is so awesome. Well, they get in my face most of the time, so... Amara is very handy dandy. Very handy dandy. And she has... Eight arms to be handy dandy. <laughs> I had I had to think about that for a moment. I needed to do math for a seco. Okay, caress Kate or the minecart. Caress it, caress it, Amara. Oh, that kids, destroy them! If those things get into my lab, they could damage my precious equipment. Whoa, a secret wall? An illusionary wall? So much power. Oh, interesting. Bam. Oh god, there's a badass. There's a badass incoming. Badass. God damn it, die. I need to take care of the badass. Irradiant badass bargain. Ah! That badass is mine. Kill it! Kill it! Genevieve! Kill it! Kill it, Genevieve! Oh, I missed. God damn it, I keep missing. No, you won't. No, you won't. Now stroke my ex once more. <laughs> stroke my ex once more. <laughs> Tennis, you may be a siren, but you got some serious issues. Thank you, Kate. We'll catch up soon. Now, Vault Hunter, the entrance is just down that corridor. You are nearly there. Is Kate the helmet? Will you get another shield? Is, is Kate the helmet or the minecart? Yeah, they're the same person, I guess. Or the pillows. Ooh. Now, that is a conspiracy theory. <laughs> oh, jeez. I suck. I suck so much with my jokes. <laughs> there it is! Oh! My iridium amplifier! We'll need to bring it back to Roland's rest. Disable those couplings to begin preparing it for transport. How am I... Do for I... For record, I never let anyone inside my lab. But for you, I will make an exception this time. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Uh, trust that you have in me, Tannis. How am I gonna bring it all back with me anyways? Oh, there's a... There's a rail... A ceiling rail. Oh, a new quest. What is it about? Childhoods and some broken things never get fixed. Uh-huh. Open storage room? Sure. Oh... That's Handsome Jack. That's a portrait of Handsome Jack, before he became the torturing, mass-murdering CEO of Hyperion. Back when he was just a coder, a husband, and soon-to-be father of the aforementioned Angel. Yeah. There's a hidden chamber behind that portrait. You'll have to move it out of the way. Wait, why is it... Why is it... Why is her face... I know it is distressing to touch things with human faces, believe me, I know. But you'll have to move the portrait if you want to continue. Mm, why is... Angel's mother's face scratched out? I mean, she has never been uh, a character that you, you know see for AI? in I Borderlands 2. She has never been seen. But... Still, what is the reason behind this? This is a Dow mining facility, right? Was she a Dow miner? Okay, here, I'm getting so far ahead of myself. I'm getting so far ahead, like... Whew. Is Tannis... No, 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 no way, no way. Tannis is not uh, Angel's mother because if I remember right uh, Angel's mother died by bandits 
I think it was a long time ago. So, I don't know, but that, that, that thought is still in the air in my mind. What if Tan is... Nah. Pshaw. Don't worry. That button is perfectly disinfected. I never even touch it with my hands. From our findings in the vault, I believe sirens are able to imbue memories into physical objects. It may not even be a conscious effort. I recovered one of Angel's childhood toys. Start there. You were looking for a stuffed toy Thracian tetra bear. Just as cuddly as the real thing, minus the neurotoxic claws. Handsome Jack, Angel, Angel's toy, she hacked the gun, she killed a skag. I'm getting so confused. Why? What? This looks like Angel's room in Pandora, right? But why? Ah, that is definitely Angel. I say that because she was, uh, blam. She was, uh, you know, uh, controlled her whole life under Jack and didn't really have much of a childhood. But okay, I'm I'm your I'm, that thought is still in my head. That th <laughs> that thought is still in my head. Am I crazy or what? Or am I doing am I doing the right things or what? What is it? I think that Tannis is the mother of Angel, but then again, the echo logs, I remember them, I think I remember them saying that Angel's mother was killed a long, 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 long time ago. Okay, how, how can I, 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 how can I get up there? Okay. Like so. No. Whoop. Ah, oh, jeez. So close. So close. God damn it. Am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do this? Yep. No. No. Fudge. You won't beat me. You won't beat me the ace time. You did. God damn it. No. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? What? What? There you go. And oh, no. okay. I gotta flap, and then I gotta wee flap. There you go. Easy peasy. I'm skipping so many things. It's locked. Uh, Genevieve is talking to me somehow. Uh, there's a gun thing. How? But find the oh, fuck! I needed to find the toy bear, and it was. I thought. <laughs> okay. Hey, Angel. Who is this guy? Captain Bear. He eats crime. <laughs> well, we must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Hey, Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? Blue. I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Oh. Yeah, sweetheart. It's, it's real pretty. Hey, honey, can you get in here for a minute? Ah. I was correct. 
That was a memory from when Angel's powers first manifested. There are other items she might have interacted with. Look for an old vending machine. I saw an old vending machine at the other side of the thing. Ye old vending machine. Is it over here? Yeah, this... God. So this was a secret area for Angel when she first manifested her powers. And... You know what, that's how Jack knew that she was a siren. You know, in due time. Stupid! Goddamn! He's a crap asshole! What's an asshole? <laughs> Oh, Angel, sorry, darn, I'm sorry I didn't see you standing there. Uh, don't say any of those words that Daddy said, okay? Okay. Is the machine broken? Yeah, looks like no candy for us. Candy? Hey, why don't you go back into the waiting room with Mommy, darling? Huh? The doctor's gonna be here any minute, okay? I think I can fix it. Oh. What? What the hell did you just do, Angel? Like most sirens, it seems using her powers became instinctual soon after acquiring them. Oh. She had no concept of what a phase shift even was, only that she could talk to machines, and more importantly, that they listened to her. There should be a turret somewhere in the room. Find that next. So it's by instinct. Power fuse. This must fit in a fuse box somewhere. Oh, I wonder where. <sighs> There it is. Blam. Oh! Feeling good. Poor form. That's what did you in. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't mind Genevieve. She's orgasming by herself. Don't mind her. Wait, what is here? Oh! What is in here? Ammo? That's it? You made me go the merry-go-round just for ammo? How kind of you. I really appreciate it. Oh god. I wasn't I wasn't supposed to do that jump. But I did. I did, I did. I wasn't supposed to do that jump, but I did. That's a win for me. It's already there open. It is. Simply touch it to trigger the memory. <laughs> it's already open. Okay, this is a Hyperion missile launcher. Oh jeez. Mommy, Daddy, help! Look, you bandit! Just give us back our daughter, okay? Are you kidding? She's a freaking siren. I'm gonna be a trillionaire. You and your wife get out of here before I stick my turrets on you. Forget the kid. Go make another one. Tuh. No, I want to go home. Shut up, kid, or I'll. Oh. Hey, what the? I want to go home. Let's get down. No. No. Oh. Whoa. Girl scars run deep. There's one more artifact. Look for a Hyperion communication satellite. Now I get it. In the in the past echo logs, like I said, or not, I don't remember what I said. Is that the mother was killed by something? I think it was bandits. Because Jack had a hate with bandits from the very beginning of Borderlands 2 but but Angel was the one that killed her mother accidentally 
I see. I see. I see. Starting to make sense. And I think that's why new friends. Oh, look at that. She appeared in Borderlands 1. I know she appeared in Borderlands 1, but I haven't played the game, so. Lilith. Brick. Mordecai. Bloodwing. And Roland. And Angel. Damn. If you think about it. Damn, Angel Angel was caged her whole life, like traumatized from the very beginning of her life. And the reason for that was that she became a siren out of nowhere and she couldn't control her powers. Jeez. Yeah. I knew I know. Angel's life was... It sucked. Her life sucked. I know. But damn. Finally, I'm getting a little backstory on Angel. Finally. Daddy, please! Let me out! No can do, my sweet little angel. You're in that chair for your own good, okay? You're such an asshole! <laughs> Language... Look, sweetheart, I can't let you out because of what she did to your mother, okay? I just couldn't bear it if something else happened to you. I didn't mean to. Shh, I know, darling. That's why you need to stay in that chair. But I got you something. That chair is connected to the entire Hyperion network. Now you can see through every satellite we own around every planet in the sky. You've got the best view in the whole universe from that chair. We're gonna work together. You and me, kiddo. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. I love you, Angel. I love you too, Dad. I see. Angel spent most of her life chained to Hyperion technology. With those memories, I think I have enough to fix the water purifier now. Go to Roland's rest, and I will attempt to interface with it. Why? Why? Why are you gonna do that? Why? Huh? Sacreble? Okay, what? What is this place? Uh. Damn. Where did I? Where did? Where did I go? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> what? 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 Okay. The couplings are right here. Okay. Disengage couplings. Right. I remember what I was doing. Damn. So. Yeah, that's. Finally. Finally, I'm getting some insight on Angel's backstory. But. I, I still get reminded that Angel's life was crap. Like. Jeez. Uh, from the very moment of her siren powers, which when she was a child, everything in her life got turned upside down. She spent most of her life in a chair chained to Hyperion. And Jack just... Just, just kept her there. Jack knows that it was an accident that what happened to uh, Angel's mother he knows it was an accident Jack really did love her from the bottom of his heart but she used her for his own ambitions more than Because she could, uh, he could use her for his own ambitions. He became head of Hyperion. He became hell bent on destroying every bandit on Pandora. And that just made him bad. 
you know, like yeah, from that moment on, their lives got turned way upside down. I'm not defending Jack at all. He was he was he was bad, like a murderer, a thief, uh, a, a strict ruler of some sorts. And he, he was just an, uh, the antagonist, plain and simple. But, yeah. What happened to his family was rough. Like, a bandit came into their home, threatened Jack, Angel, and uh, Angel's mother because of Angel being stressed she activated her siren powers, but at the same time, killed the bandit and the mother at the same time. And from that uh, display of power and the accident of her mother, Jack chained her, put her in a chair, hotwired her into the Hyperion network. And that's the whole story in Borderlands 1 and 2, you know. It goes downhill from there. Damn. About time I get an echo log or a side mission that, that explained something about Handsome Jack or Angel. Not the mother though, her mother is still like a mystery. So no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, like 20 minutes ago or something I said what if Tannis was the mother no I remember vaguely in an echo log that in Borderlands 2 the mother died I know I vaguely remember but <laughs> then my mind got wild because Tannis was here before and she remembers that button because she told she told me that it's disinfected and she never touched that button again or something I don't remember I don't remember what it was but she was here so that's why I thought just a wild imagination just a wild guess but I was wrong as always newsflash not a surprise I was wrong <laughs> like always so yeah, I really like that side quest, even though uh, it gave me a little insight on Jax's family. But, oh god, <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna finish the side quest. I have my headphones off because I thought I was gonna say goodbye, <laughs> but... I just wanna finish this side quest, because I wanna know a little bit more, or... Mm, you know... I want to just finish it, be done with it, record what is after the horrible, horrible events that portrayed Handsome Jack's family and Angel. But, well, this is a Borderlands world. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Even though it looks like sunshine and rainbows because you're having so much fun shooting bandits' heads off and COVs' heads off, but no. Executing phase shift. Executing phase shift. <laughs> oh, all this makes much more sense now. Angel's memories did indeed contain the information I required. It seems the Hyperion water purifier had a planned obsolescence chip inside it. I'll oh. simply override it and we can be done with this water chip nonsense. I see. We did it, Vault Hunter. And all it took was reliving the traumatic childhood of a fallen angel. Let Vault know his water purifier is working once again. There it is. <laughs> yeah, the the terrifying, terrible, terrible childhood of Angel. I get it, Tannis. You're not one to mince words, but that's exactly what it is. What the hell are you doing? You doing stretches? You got the water working again! That's awesome! Yes, I did. Water slide city, baby! Ooh, slick! No! Wet. Shiny, oh. glistening. Ooh. Oh yeah. Also, uh, no one's dying of thirst. Oh, so yeah. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. Hard work, big rewards. 
50 side missions completed. Oh! Oh! How nice! Oh yeah, and I found this. Bye bye. <laughs> How could someone just be there at the porcelain throne and. <laughs> How can they. I would find another toilet. <laughs> I would definitely find another one or just uh, do my business in the wild because what the hell? There's nobody sane enough to be in there with this uh, with this little metal metal bars <laughs> supporting that toilet and supporting your weight. No way. No way I'll ever <laughs> do that if it was in real life. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I already said my thoughts. At least they got the water purification running. They're gonna be wet, they're gonna be glistening, and they're gonna be hydrated, which is nice. But no water slides because, come on, wasting purified water on water slides. Nah. This is a desert. Hydration is super important. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on the next one. And have a good night.